Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to WoW Vanilla Hardcore and our Troll Mage playthrough. Thank you guys for clicking on the video and choosing to spend some time here with me today. I do appreciate you. We are going to make a woolen bag. A couple of you guys reminded me that we can make this. It's an 8 slot bag, which means we can get rid of our last 6 slot bag. There we go. Now we have all eight slots. And I think to kick things off today, we are going to head out to the west. We're looking for bears. We are looking for, well, maybe not lions. Let's see. Yeah, the lion blood. And we might go over and take on the farmers and farmhands. We will we'll see how it goes and how busy the area is. For this quest, we need two different named guys. So, you know, we've had our troubles getting named guys in the past. It is 9.23 in the morning on a Thursday. And it's, it's Hillsbred, so not as populated as a place like the Barrens would be. And I'm hoping that means that... Uh, oh, oh, thank you, guard. I really didn't need the help, but thankfully we can still loot it. Uh, hopefully we can find the farmers up and alive and they're, that they actually spawn in the places that they should. With today being Thursday, I I'm kind of hoping today we get some details about the hardcore announcement, as well as maybe some details about the uh, the new season. It's Thursday, so they typically will let out news towards the end of the week. And I feel like a Thursday being not a Friday, you know, when a lot of people who can take off, I think that Thursday would be... A day for them to drop some news if they wanted to do that. I'm sure they have an ideal cadence in the marketing team for how often they share news that they already know about, like what, what their plans are for things, and how often they put out new information about stuff. There's probably a whole like cadence that is developed to maximize the hype. The hype with a capital H in quotations. Maximum hype must be achieved by uh, properly outletting information at specified intervals. Because yeah, they probably know all the details, right? We, we have to imagine that if they're implementing this sometime this summer, that they already know all the details, at least for the hardcore server and how it's going to work and stuff like that. Okay, we are in a bad spot here. Let's do that and we'll get away from one of them. I feel like that was justified because with two of them hitting us, we were probably in a lot of trouble. Um, I would like to kill the one. Oh, you're not the one that's low on health. In that case, I would just like a straight up do-over on all of it. And that's what we're going to get. Because we have been chased clean back to town, guys. 
it's amazing and unfortunate, but it's true. We've been chased clean back to town, so this is going to be a good opportunity to go ahead and empty out the bags that I upgraded. I really wish the guards would come out here and clear out some of the uh, local wildlife. It's a little bit too close to the vendor for my liking. Speak, friend. Somebody mentioned stashing some some medium leather. I think we have some medium leather in the bank. We also should have at least one or two pearls I've been saving. Spider silk I don't have any of yet. But I will be keeping my eyes open for any spider silk because we'll, we'll need these things for a couple of different uh, blue tailoring recipes. At least I, I think the spider silk boots are blue, aren't they? A dig rat. Okay, let's get rid of that. We can drop the lieutenant's insignia. Keeping my snake, though. Go forth to victory. These bears have so much HP. It's kind of crazy. We, we need like more than half our mana to take care of one. And we have to keep that in mind. Otherwise, it is going to get us into more and more trouble. Let's drink to full here. That being said, you know, some of them are level 22. But I also feel like some of them are level 24. And there's probably going to be a big difference in how tough they are. Between the two levels. Again, with this guy, you know, usually we'd be okay to go ahead and attack with 400 mana, but against one of these bears, I don't think that's a good idea.
We're also getting kind of unlucky since a lot of these guys patrol just a little bit. They're often walking away from us when we're casting, so that gets them out of range of our second cast. So we have to move, which means that we're wasting time that we should be casting. We even had the instance where we've been we've been frostbiting people out of range so that we have to actually move up before we can cast them again. And it's little inefficiencies like that on the mage that I think can get us into trouble. Because we rely a lot on that DPS going out nice and steady. Nice and chunky DPS going out and if there's a, a lull in that then that's when we get into trouble. That's when we have enemies staying alive longer than they should. And yeah, especially against higher level enemies, we, we have to be careful about this. That being said, you know, I could go grind on some lower level stuff. That, that's always an option that we haven't really done yet in any of our hardcore playthroughs. And a lot of you guys remind me that, you know, sometimes it's safer just to take the slower leveling route and go grind a level or two. Good thing about that is that it gets us gold as well. The bad thing about that is that we, we're not using gold for a lot right now besides professions. You know, with the whole auction house thing. See, now this guy turned around. We, we don't want him coming at us either. Preferably we'd like to flank them like this. Although that's not great distance either. If things start to get a little too hairy for us, we will find somewhere that we can farm. Maybe somewhere back in the Barrens. I don't know if there are many low-level guys here outside of Durnhold. The problem with farming in Durnhold is that we have the uh, mages, the shadow mages, that uh, deal quite a bit of damage to us. We could just go somewhere in like Southern Silverpine, where there are like level 18 to 20 enemies. Find something that drops some cloth and grind there. That could be a possibility. That was a 172 crit. Is that now our highest crit? Or did we get a 180 the other day? I think 172 is as big as I've seen it.
And we've done it again. We did not have enough mana to finish this guy. We can kite him for a minute. Maybe we can regen a bit. Um, we didn't finish the cast. Let's just wait till we can get Frost Nova out. Let's see, who do we have online here today? Quite a few people actually for Hillsbred so early in the morning. 9.40 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we have activity. Which is good to see, but unfortunately it means it might be a little hard to find Farmer Ray and Farmer Guts. And I, I think what we're going to do is we're going to try to scope out the farmers first. And then we'll kill guys in the vicinity and try to keep an eye. If they're not up, we'll look out for the respawn.
I, I love when we get disarmed as a class that doesn't need their weapon. It feels like we're just slapping them in the face. Uh, we should probably clear this guy first before we round the corner to check the house. We're going to need to stand out here. I believe there could be up to two ads in the house with him. Kind of hoping that's not the case. But it could be... Oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Cow. You just were in the wrong place at the wrong time, buddy. He didn't even get frozen. There, were, there have been rats with more HP than this cow. That's the disturbing part. All right, we have to take advantage of this. We could have planned it a little better. I'm not gonna kill the other guy, we're gonna leash him. There we go. That was really great. I mean, there are players all around this place, so. Probably a smart move to come here first. Let's go ahead and get ourselves out of combat. And now we just need Farmer Ray. Farmer Ray is a little bit farther to the northwest. Ouch. Crispy Bear the Rogue, dead at level 28. Thousand Needles to the High Perch Wyverns? Not the Wyverns! His last words were, do you think we can get an Elite? Ah, uh, not, probably not, buddy. Famous last words, do you think we can kill this Elite? It's probably, probably not related to how he died. I don't recall there being any elite wyverns up there. Ah, oh, there's a farmer and a farmhand and a chest. Uh, I don't know. We could sheep and then burn, but I don't know if we'll have the, the mana pool to take out the second guy. Okay, Farmer Ray might be over here, or he could be in the house. Nope, there he is, and there's no one else around, so... If we clear this guy, we should have a free shot at him, and I don't think he'll aggro any of the others. They Oh, they aggro together. Let's, okay, let's go ahead and sheep him. Let's pull him a little bit further out. That way we can Frost Nova safely if we want to. Alright, let's let our regen tick at least once or twice here to see if we can get some mana back. It's probably going to be as good as it gets. That was a nice frostbite right out of the sheep. I like that. Frost Nova's back up. And he resisted.
Well, that might be as easy as we've ever gotten the farmers, whether we've been in Hardcore or in Wrath or in BC. That might be the easiest we've ever gotten them, which is kind of incredible. Seeing as how we usually have a really hard time getting the name guys tagged. So now we just need three and three farmers and farmhands, and the very first battle of Hillsbrand will be won. I shouldn't say that yet, you're absolutely right. Let's just be careful and we'll get through it. We are actually going to lease this other one because we, we just don't have the mana to deal with it. Let's run back here. It looks like it's still clear. We'll hide back in the hills for a minute. We'll let him leash. We'll get our mana back and then we'll go after him. Oh, he brought a bunch of guys with him. Look at that. I'm glad we ran. That would have been really bad to hang around there. He must have aggroed a bunch more when he popped out of sheep. They must have been patrolling around. Very, very dangerous, guys. Alright, let's finish streaking to full, and then let's get our buffs back up. Those are about to expire. Then we'll drink a little bit more, and then we'll go after the rest of the guys we need. We need one more farmer and two more farmhands. Thank you. 
Okay, we're not going to work on Dangerous right now. We will come back for Car Farmer Kalaba once we are working on the Peasants. For now, let's head back to town. Um, well, let's leash this guy first. And then we're going after the rest of the bears that we need. And we'll go for any mountain lions as well. But I'm not aiming to finish the mountain lions because we'll be coming back to Hillsbred a couple more times. So we will have plenty of opportunity to farm up the mountain lion blood. Today I'd like to finish with the bears though. That way we can take the road a bit and avoid some of the bears on the traveling. Ooh, level 23 priest. Orgrimmar? No. You must, it must have been fall damage. Oh, in the Wailing Caverns. Deviant Ravager. Last words were yup. Oh boy. Well, that is, that looks like it might be a Wailing Caverns wipe. There's a reason why we haven't done any dungeons yet, and that's because I'm like... I, I, I'm just so hesitant. We've been so lucky with uh, dungeon runs that I know the other the other shoe has to fall. You know what I mean? Eventually we're gonna, ha we're, eventually we're gonna get into a bad group. Eventually something bad is gonna happen in the group that might be out of the control of the, of the people in the group. Um, and yeah, we've been lucky so far. But I don't want to. I don't want to push my luck. I think SFK will do, and the reason I will do SFK is because I'm familiar enough with it that I think if anything were to go wrong, I could I could probably take the shortcut and get us out, depending on where we're at in the run. I'm I'm almost positive that as a DPS, especially, I could probably get us to safety, even if that meant running as everyone else died. We will do what we have to do in that case, but but yeah, we'll do SFK, but I, I really don't think I'm going to do anything else before that. I hope you guys understand, I'm just really, really not wanting to lose this character. Uh, I know, I said we'd be prioritizing the bears, and I, I think I've definitely killed more cats than bears since we set out.
All right, that is the last of the bear tongues that we need. Let's go ahead and get ourselves back to town. Relatively safely, it would be preferable to aggroing everything in sight, but it looks like we've taken the aggroing everything in sight path so far. If we take the road up here, that'll be a little bit safer. And now we kind of have to decide what we want to do next, because the next series of quests are going to be level 24 and up. Betrayal from Within is level 25. Probably level 26 will be able to do SFK, I think would be okay. Let's see, Shredding Machines, New Life. We might be able to go to Stone Talon for a bit, maybe even Ashenvale for a quick stop. Do a couple of quests in each zone. And that would probably definitely get us level 24. Maybe level 25, depending on what type of quest they are. Speak quickly. Victory for Silver. So yeah, Attack on Hillsbrad Part 2, 15 Peasants, is level 25. Souvenirs of Death collect the 30 Hillsbred Human Skulls, also level 25 quest. Discipline. What now? Remember, patience, discipline. What is it? Hmm, so yeah, I think that's kind of like what we're looking at. Let's go ahead and take a look over in Kalimdor. Ashenvale, we could do Torix Assault would be okay. We could do the Ashenvale Outrunners for sure. Again, these are level 24, but that's kind of where we're at. Between a Rock and a Thistlefur we could do as well as troll charms. So yeah, maybe we head to Ashenvale for a little bit. We really haven't done much there. It could be a little bit of a change of scenery. And then back down to the Stone Tail and Mountains. I think we're still too low for both Cenarius' Legacy and definitely the Harpy's Threatened. So that'll be a few levels from now. So yeah, that's kind of the plan. Let's let's go ahead and we'll teleport back to Algrimmar. We didn't use our Hearthstone at all.
Now the really cool thing is we actually have both of the flight points for the Zorum Stand as well as Splinter Tree Post. So I think we, we fly to Splinter Tree. Uh, and we're not grabbing anything there. We're then going to head out, grab Ashenvale Outrunners, and we'll help Torek with his assault. Alright guys, that is the plan. I'm going to put us on the flight point, and then I'm going to take a little bit of a break, refresh my coffee, get a snack, and we'll be right back into things. Thank you guys for being here, for spending your time with me in Azeroth, and we'll see you back here again very soon. Bye for now.